Yo, what up? It's your boy Shank Daddy coming back to another My Heroes video. Yeah, guys, I know it's been a bit, probably been a, around a month since I posted my last video. Just my job got a little out of hand and uh, yeah, I didn't have as much time to post videos. I have been playing pretty much daily, but uh, yeah, just I haven't been able to really get around to make any videos. So I figured I'd come back. We'll do a nice little weekly update. But let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so let's take a look here. We're going to start off with my wood spec. I want to go through all three and see how my DPS is looking because it has been a month since I last even recorded. And it, I think that's probably around the same time that I have taken a look at all three. So we'll start off with the wood spec. This is probably my weakest one. We got Rifts, Water, Boss, Stationary, 60 seconds. We're going to keep it at 80% so that we can still use our... Um, you know, our Abyssia weapons, which really are only useful if the boss has below 90% health. Uh, they're obviously really good. Um, pretty much in most cases, except for Arena. I'm sure there's something else, too, that they're not good at. But, like, Arena, I still use the factory weapons. But, uh, so far, as you can see, around 3 trillion. Not terrible for me. I know, that, like, for some people that are like, what is he talking about? 3 trillion is a lot of damage. But I think our fire spec is going to be... A lot better than this now we really haven't gotten that many good gems like i don't think i have any perfect three st uh like when you're talking about the rare stats that you randomly get on a gem on a mythic gem i don't think i have any like perfect quote-unquote perfect gems for uh for my wood spec yet i actually did get one more for my water spec which which add which makes three now um i kind of messed up the stat on it I, I had ep and then i got rid of it by accident because i ended up getting like a a legendary um attack stat but we'll, when we get there, we get there. So 2.8 trillion, not bad. Let, I'm going to keep, I'm going to edit this. So we're going to go right into our water spec. All right, guys, switched to the water spec, my Nibaria spec. Going rifts, fire boss, stationary, 60 seconds, 80% enemy health. Let's go. Um, like I said, I did get a perfect gem. Last night I was uh, going through doing kind of all my gem, you know, the bulk, using all my batteries for the week and getting all that stuff done. And um, I don't. I probably messed up my DPS a little bit. Basically, I was refining one. My EP that I was refining I ended up getting a, a pretty good attack legendary stat. So I figured, oh, let me just go to the other stat now and try to get EP again, even if it's like a blue EP stat. Couldn't get it. Um, as you guys may or may not know, like when you're refining mythic gems, it costs 120 of those marks. Um, compared to say 40 if you were doing solarium stones so it's it's a lot to refine those mythic gems so if you get caught up you're gonna probably have to wait until the next week like i most likely will be able to get my ep in there now for some reason ep is a tough stat to uh to get up sometimes so like you'll i'll be going through a whole like say 2000 probably average around 1800 to 2000 of those marks per week uh the refining marks but yeah i mean so 5.8 trillion obviously a lot better than my than my uh, wood spec there, but let's go check out the fire spec. That should be our best one. All right, guys, last but not least, we're gonna use our cast smaller spec now. I don't know, it actually might be even, or either close to even, or a little bit more than my water spec, possibly even a little bit less, just because now I have three perfect gems for my water spec, which I think is the most out of any of the other. I think fire, I have two, and then water, and water I have three, and then wood, I don't have any. That's why my wood spec is my weakest. But yeah, so we got rifts, wood, boss, stationary, 60 seconds. We're going to make this 80%. And let's try this and see if we can, um, you know, get something going here. Now, the burst damage is going to be very good. So, like, from a burst standpoint, this is easily the best one. I mean, we're getting close to, uh, you know, that whatever. All right, so like 8 point, or we were at 8 trillion. It's going to go down, though. Probably down to where our wood spec was, which was like 5.8. But, uh, I mean, 6.6 is, I mean, what is it? It's going to keep going down, though, right? If I don't, if I don't have the burst or I have the extra damage to get. Okay, I mean, we're trying to get that other thing to kind of pop here like the fire where it's going but i just don't it hasn't happened so i don't know if there's like a time limit on that uh, let's see i got six seconds let's make sure we use everything here so i mean we're really right around we're actually a little bit less and it's crazy too that means our water spec is going to be really good when i get the ep stat on that one gem 
we should be in really good shape. But 5.5 trillion is still really good because you got to remember it's all about the burst damage with this one. We were hitting almost 10 to 10 to 11 trillion at, at the max. So I'm, I am happy with how all three specs are at the moment, but we're still improving. All right, guys, let's jump into the weekly update here. Um, basically, the weapons are the same. I might try to do some uh, refining. Maybe I could do that for the hunting claw here. I mean, we do have we, we have a decent awakening stat, uh, but yeah, the weapons haven't changed. And my gear hasn't changed for Castle Mold or any of my other specs at the moment. I have been trying to save up some EX marks if we go to our uh, our EX shop here. I did. I have been saving up these marks, these Rage Crystal marks. And um, just in case for the next spec, whenever that does come out, I don't know when that's going to come out. But I'm um, just trying to kind of get ready for that. Because um, then I can go just purely on the, uh, the, uh, the Ox Rune kind of packs there. Um, I've been doing pretty good though. I think my fire one, I did get another level. At this point, I'm I'm all. Um, we'll, we'll go back to that, you know, when when we get to the uh, ox, the rune section there. But yeah, definitely, this hasn't changed. Let's actually go and try to refine. Um, yeah, we we did refine this a little bit. We got this a little bit better, I believe. Or maybe I might have just added soul orb. I think I'm a six star soul orb. So when we get there, I'll I'll go through that more. Um, so we have defense ignored, crit damage, attack. This one, we have crit damage, defense ignored, crit mod. I guess for the time being, we can just do this and then try to get defense ignored a better stat. So let's see if we can get it. It's always like this last stat that just, just really annoying trying to, to get. Um, and to those in, in my guild that have been giving me marks, I'm sorry you're watching me just like, just, you know, go through these right now. I'm trying to get a better... Uh, Defense ignored stat. I mean, I, I I could go with attack, but we, we really do need defense ignored. It's still, it's easily one of the better ones to get. Um, yes, yeah, lesser one. Ooh, look at that. The last one. Let's go. I don't even know how good that is. Oh, yeah, it's not even like really that great. But hey, at least now we, we on our last attempt there, we did get a defense ignored. So that's good. At least we got some sort of luck there. Um, but yeah, again, nothing really changed weapon-wise in like the past month. It's all been kind of the same. Um, like uh, this one, I I did get a better soul orb. I think my or I upgraded my soul orb from like four to six stars. So I think we just have one more to go. Um, but yeah, so uh, again, we'll we'll keep going with that. But moving on, um, just for those of you that want to see my what skills I'm using for Casamolar at the moment, you got your. Uh, your two Casamolar skills, Shadow Slay and Instant Slash, at least for Ninja. And then I'm running Slash Mania and this Cursed Flame. Don't know if there if anyone's changed from that, but I've kind of had that for a bit. So if you wanted to copy that. Um, pets. I, I made a couple, um, a couple upgrades. I think actually last night I was going through and we did do a couple things like... There was a couple, I can't remember which pets it was. I know this pet we got from three to four stars because I figured it would get more crit damage. Um, yeah, Bathin, I think, I'm pretty sure I showed that I had five stars on Bathin, which is good for my fire spec. So that's that's been that, like that. I did get this uh, and pet. I don't know if they finally added the and pet in, but I, I got uh, the and pet to two stars. That way I could get this extra wood attack and defense ignored. Um... Trying to think what else there might have been like a i'm not sure uh, there was a couple of things that were upgraded though for sure um with our combos but yeah so now um going back though i mean really nothing else has changed for pets i don't think that there's any higher tree right so yeah the marvelous tree is still the highest one i haven't even checked that in quite some time but yeah i'm basically still in the maxed one i have all the same pets um, there isn't like a new pet that I've switched into like my main, we go to like our four pets. Obviously, Bathin would be switched out for um, uh, Evil God Pet. I think I'm using Evil God Pet for my other ones. I actually, I actually have to check that out. But most most likely I'm using the Evil God Pet just because it's three stars. That one and the um, the Ice Pet, this one, the Frost Guard, are pretty close I've seen people using Evil God, I've seen people using Frost Guard, and if it's that close, I'm going to use the one that's higher Ascension level, so that would be my Evil God pet at the moment. 
So that's really it for pets. Um, nothing, nothing really crazy. You know, at this point, my merge. I, I haven't really had to merge too much. When I when I got the Ant Pet, I used two legendaries to get it to level one, and then two of the uh, the mythic pets that I already have like maxed. So I forget which one it was, but I used two of those and got it to two stars. Um, but let's move on to soul cards. All right, guys, let's jump into soul cards here. Um, nothing really new to report, but we did get a Sariel card that doesn't have great stats. I mean, I guess. The one stat would be max MP, I guess, if, you know, if we could get a better, or if we're going to use a four-star divination card for this one. So we're kind of just holding on to this for the time being, unless I get another good slot attack card. Is there, what else can you get? I mean, it's really just slot attack that you would want for this one. So we'll hold on to that for now. Um, I guess we can mess around and see if we can, you know, upgrade a few cards here. We already have a Chessia four star. Actually, is our Chessia four star? What do we? Oh wow, we have crit damage and the crit damage bonus. That's actually really good. Um, I mean, it's cool, still cool to try to upgrade some of these. So let's still try to upgrade this. Give it a few shots here. What do we have? Crit damage and cooldown. Oh, uh, look at that. We almost got a cooldown reduction. I don't know how great that would have been, but all right, let's see. Um. Try to do this one, I guess. Let's see. Do we get anything? No. Uh, that one only had three stats. So it would have been pretty lucky to uh, to get some. Let's try like one or two more. Um, I have a decent amount here that I can... Eh, I get another three. Three stat. Abyss Hunter Reaper. Okay, nothing. It's all right. Though you might as well give it a shot. And what do we have still... So many of these hunter, I don't even know if they're really worth it. Um, EP. Ooh, close. And it would have been water attack too. Well, I think I have one more. Let's do one more. Let's try one more Julia. Just because I have it, we might as well. Is it a cooldown reduction? All right, I mean, this would, this would just be for the lulls. Watch, this is the one that probably gets a four star or a five star. Nope, three star. Okay, so we're gonna hold off. But yeah, like like I said, not too much of a difference. Just the one Sariel card. Um, where's that Sariel card? Yeah, right here. Yeah, so that is one that I'm gonna probably use the four star divination card on. I would like a better, you know, a better thing of stats there, but it is what it is. But moving on to runes, I believe this hasn't. I can't remember if last week or not, but or. Not last week, the last video I made, which was about a month ago. Uh, if I had gotten to this point, basically all three specs are 1495 or higher. So it's just really just getting more aux runes and trying to get higher levels here, getting the the bonuses um, each time. So I guess the next warder when we actually get uh, some attack. But yeah, I'm I'm basically maxed out here as much as I can be. I, I could, there's still room to make some sort of progress, but let's like very minimal. Um, but yeah, that, nothing really going on with runes besides hitting that 1495 on all on my wood, water, and fire spec. Uh, but let's move on to gems because this is where we did make some good uh, stride. All right, guys, looking at gems, um, we are we did we're, we definitely got a couple things I think that are worth mentioning. One, we we did uh, I finished off and was able to get to plus 32 uh, for my gem bastion like. You know, getting the gem bashed into the basically level 32, I was able to upgrade the last couple gems of these place, these gem gathering gems. So now my gem bastion's at plus 32 um, instead of plus 31. I guess the other thing was uh, I did get another good Stolas gem. Now, again, um, it would be even better, but what happened was I was going through and I was trying to get a better EP stat ended up getting uh, a legendary attack stat here which it's not like perfect but i figured i'd keep that and i was like oh well i'll probably get at least a blue ep stat here and i, I couldn't get it i literally got this goal uh this legendary defense ignored could not get an ep stat and as you guys know when you're refining these mythic gems it costs 120. you know what let me try i did get a couple extra hold on let's see if we can go down so can we get uh, I don't want to. I'm going to just keep it. I mean, it's fine. 
Like, I, 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 I'm not going to replace it with a white EP stat. I mean, I, I probably would be just as good, if not better, but I don't know. But yeah, that, I'm going to, next week, I'll, I'll get a better EP stat. At least a blue. I, I want at least a blue EP stat. I think that would be worth it. Um, but yeah, that I, I kind of messed that up. It just kind of happened. It costs 120, so... Um, and sometimes EP is really hard to come by, especially a good EP stat. So it is what it is. I will fix that next week, but that is another perfect you know you have fire suppression damage boost counter boost another perfect rare stat assortment and i think that's three for my water spec which is why my water spec dps is like just a, it's right around where my fire one is now because i think my fire one was two two perfect gems i think i have for my fire spec and then wood i still don't have any so kind of sucks with that but i don't know why i keep clicking out but yeah i think that's really it i mean i looked through it i i don't i'd have to do the count again because i think i messed up my count but in terms of being able to get to 10 stars, so we already have all our Morax, we have all of our, our Andro. I feel like I counted Crochel twice, which doesn't make any sense. Um, so I have two, we have two Andrus gems we gotta get still um, that aren't good that we could just use to ascend. We have one Bathin gem we need, one Larahay gem, two Amy gems, three Crochel gems. I wrote three Crochel gems twice. I don't know why I did that. Um, three Bolil gems. And I think that makes sense, right? Because Andro, Bathin, Larahay, Amy, Crochelle, Belial, Belial. I don't know how, how you say that. And I guess Stolas. I don't know. How many do we need for Stolas? I think we need two for Stolas. I don't know why I didn't put that. So I'm thinking we actually need, I want to say 14 gems left. Not sure. Um, I have to go through that again. I messed up and put Crochel twice. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, so we're we're actually really close to uh, to getting a ten star Bastion, which is pretty insane. I mean, it's it's taken a long time, but uh, yeah, we've uh, we've finally gotten there. So uh, our gems are definitely in a good spot. Uh, we're we're in a way better spot than I. That was one of the things in the very beginning that I really like. I'm not gonna say messed up. But just didn't get off to a good start and that definitely held me back for a little bit but you know we're getting there now obviously the best thing that we could do after that would be to actually start getting the the gems for that particular weapon like castle actually have three castle gems but i mean the chances of getting three good castle gems isn't really that high but once i'm able to just like focus on using the pick em gem things for say like whatever spec i'm currently playing I might have a better chance of getting some of those gems and instead of having solarium stones we can actually start using um you know like say the mythic gem for we, in this case we need castle molder for my wood spec it would be uh um fur fur and for my water spec nebarius but you know that's really it for uh gems for now so hopefully we could just continue to keep rising there i just gotta i know i just gotta keep on grinding i mean i've been doing that it's not like I've really missed any days. It's just I haven't really recorded videos. There hasn't really been much reason for me to record. Um, plus, I've been really busy with my job. But now it's my job has calmed down a bit. But going into Awakening, let me see. Do we have? Um, oh yeah, we have. We have attack. I guess we can. Ooh. Ooh. I. Man, I. I, I'm gonna keep I, I guess I'll keep it because what's crit damage is 26 damn man. I don't know what would be better but I'm just gonna you know what we're gonna keep it right there let me know in the comments should I replace this stat or should I keep it I'm gonna keep it just like this so I'm gonna just go out of there not mess with anything um astrolab we're going to uh, I mean it's the same one but if you guys wanted to take a look Andrew's Moonblade my three here I believe this is, um, is it moon? Is that what it was? I think it was moon. Yeah. Yeah. That one was moon. I think it says it here, right? This one's the flower one and this one was crow. So I I'm just running this. Sometimes this one kind of stinks because you get hit and you lose all of your MP really quick and it makes it really hard to use the spec, but or at least their castle molar spec. But if you want that, there's that, um, Maybe, uh, I don't know if that makes it easier for you to see if you want to pause the video or if you want to uh, just go back and 
look at this but obviously the ones that are lit up like this that's what activates the andrus moon blade so the, the ones that are lit up blue is like obviously this one's not lit up and the middle one's not lit up the other six are lit up that's what gets the andrus moon blade to uh, activate but we don't want to take too much time um i didn't really get anything that great with uh with if we go too quickly to our astral gear nothing really crazy i do want to like get my fire my fire set like up there but for now uh I'll, I'll mess around with it in a little bit but for now i'm just gonna hold off i don't know how much actually let me check if we go to the crystal ball thing here um do i have like an ep one yes i do have an ep one so if i wanted to enchant we have 204 Yo, the other thing is guys don't forget that you can actually um you can convert your star veil dust um your astral or sacra island slash andrews moonblade like that from that gear that you yeah see it's been a while since i've uh since i've done that so i had 160 of those added another 80 that's not bad yeah i don't have enough that i'd be able to get all f six pieces to plus five but that is something that I'm trying to do. I have my water set. I have my woods, my wood set of astral gear. I don't have the fire set um, upgraded. Now going to soul, uh, soul orb. I'm trying to think. I guess the only thing that I really upgraded was this. I did get this to six stars. Um, we just need one more, which I don't have any right now. I still need all 75. It, so this one's the, the toughest one to get that, that level up. But um, I, I really should try to put another Amy weapon here. Um, I gotta let go of my priest and figure that out. I think my Amy weapon, I, I actually can go, can go one more. So I'll figure that out. I, I really should start doing that because that would definitely add some stars, possibly get this even closer to, to level five. But uh, yeah, for now, this is what I'm rocking with for Amy or not Amy, but well, yeah, I guess technically the Amy Goetia orb for my fire spec. Um, Soul Link, I guess that did change. Uh, I don't have enough to, to get a you know to upgrade it but yeah at this point i think i showed that a while ago i i am at the max region thing and um maybe i should check that and go through it's been a while since i've looked at that there might be a weapon that's like better than one of the other ones i have in here um but yeah nothing too crazy there but i think guys that's really it oh how could i forget i feel like this is probably the most important thing or one of the coolest things that i've i got to finally got to level 16 so i do have the like these things here um like i can make this and use all of my stuff that actually got me a decent amount of xp but yeah so now i am like kind of the max not the max level but i can make the highest stuff at least for, on an alchemist thing I, I went through and tried to do as much as i could i don't know if they updated this in the uh, flames glory discord shout out to them um but i don't know if they updated like their they, they have like a whole like picture thing a couple pictures of like the alchemist trees like the three different trees here and like which ones to do i definitely did all three of those but then i started going into other stuff so um if you want i'll go like slow through this but as of right now level 16 i did use all of my research token things which i hadn't done um i just you know just trying to figure out which one might be the best thing and uh so far it seems like what i did was pretty good um yeah i mean i try i didn't really care too much about like the donation thing i i can still donate a lot of stuff but maybe trying to get these like vitality expansions were i would think would be like the most important um but it is what it is but yeah definitely a big milestone to finally hit that took so long to level that because you have you can't just like all out level you know you, you're kind of like you're kind of like chained down to having to work with this um vitality limit and all that stuff so it definitely took a while but i finally did get there um i think i've had people mention to me in the past but like which ones do you guys think are the best ones for me to to uh to level with i know i just made a bunch of uh fire potions fire attack potions is crit boost really good here um you know I i've heard attack potion isn't good which i guess I mean, I feel like it doesn't sound right, but at the same time, um, yeah, I don't know. It, I mean, I guess this additional 120 fire attack, I feel like that would be pretty good, like at least for cast molar spec. Uh, but 
I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, especially some of the more experienced players. If you've gotten to this point for Alchemist level 16, uh, you know, what, what, what potions are you making? I guess like which ones are, which ones are the most viable for me to make? Uh, I really haven't messed around too much. Even like these, I, I'm not even really sure. I mean, this one gives elemental pen. This one I think gives damage boost. Yeah. And this one gives defense ignored. Yep. So I don't think I'm missing anything. If we go to the guild uh, shop here, I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, let me see. 101, 101. Unless I missed one before, which I don't think I did, but... Yeah, I think we got all of these. It's really just these that matter now, and we, I think we got them all. But yeah, guys, that'll be it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know I haven't been making as many videos. Honestly, I think I'm going to probably go, at the most, a bi-weekly uh, releasing of videos at this point. Not that I just haven't really been that into uh, making videos for this game anymore. I mean, I've been playing this game. If you guys want to see, it's pretty crazy. I, I have my streaks at 565 days. We're, we're starting to get close i mean well i would i don't know if you want to say close to two years but we're creeping up on two years i mean we're probably i think we're more than halfway like a, we're at a year and a half of just signing in every single day so from the first day i played this game i've been keeping that i might do like i might get to two years and then make a video of me just letting it run out i, I do think that this is kind of one of those things that can drive you crazy or i mean realistically if you really wanted to just keep this you could just sign in and then that would be it right but i i actually do the dailies every day still i'm still grinding um maybe not playing a ton every day but i'm still doing a decent amount each day whether it's like you know cumulatively 30 minutes to an hour a day of this game so i'm definitely still playing just there isn't like a crazy amount of content to uh to go upon if there's anything i've noticed i feel like at least in my server i'm on the belial uh belial belial server however you say that it seems like it's it's very tough to like get into groups sometimes and i don't i don't know if they need to uh merge servers or anything like that maybe you guys can you know if have any opinions on that let me know in the comments but i i feel like there might have to be a merger of uh some of the servers now obviously some things are cross server so that doesn't matter but I noticed like like at least with the key i don't know maybe people just don't do keys anymore because i think this is cross server but I, I i find it very hard to uh to get into groups now like this was honestly an exception i actually got into like a level 93 key here but yeah guys um hopefully you enjoyed the video maybe you learned something too uh drop a like leave a comment i'll see you in the next video peace your boy shank daddy here thank you for watching this video if you like what you saw drop a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button and I will see you boys and girls in the next video.